All right, what's happening, my friends? Welcome back. I got a cool piece of kit for you guys. Some of you are going to really enjoy it. I personally am excited. There's some pros and cons to what I'm going to be putting in front of you today. But basically, it's one of the least expensive ways to secure a long gun in a vehicle. And it's also something that could help you out in a secure your guns at home without having to lose the quick access variable. It's, there, it's certainly not perfect, but again, for my purposes, I really dig it. So now we'll do the whole B-roll, look at the product up close and uh, stuff, and we'll see our title package and then we'll uh, talk about it. All right, guys, so we're going to go through some pros and cons of this guy right here. This is called the AR Chamber Lock. It's available on our website, and we're also the ones who liked it enough, but not quite enough, that we hit up the manufacturer and like, hey, listen, guys, you need a tether attachment that anchors in here, so it'd be really good for vehicles. So I'm very proud that we got to be able to uh, kind of have a part with them in this. So yay, go team, go capitalism, making stuff work, right? Uh, there's some stuff I really like about it, and as I said, there's some stuff that I don't. So we're going to go through that so that you can evaluate whether this is a good thing for you or whether it doesn't really suit your needs. So uh, here we go. First off, let's talk about vehicles. If you want to be able to secure a snazzy long gun in your car or truck or Winnebago or whatever. Who? Winnebago? I said Winnebago. Or your Winnebago, and I'm not judging. Uh, whatever you're going to secure your long gun in, God love you for securing a long gun in those vehicles. But somebody breaks a window or raids your trunk and takes your long gun, well, that really sucks because now you're arming somebody who shouldn't be armed and you're out something that costs quite a lot of money. So being able to secure it is a good idea. However, some of these safes are difficult to install. They're extremely expensive and heavy and some are better than others, but still you're gonna be spending quite a bit of money on that. And I just, you probably don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. Some people do. And when you see their setups, I'm kind of like, oh, that's awesome. I got to do it. How much is it? Three grand? Nope, I'm not doing that. Uh, and this is something like a hundred, but what is it, Evan? This is like, no, it's not. The price is here on screen. Yay for that. And when you add the tether, it adds this much to it. Anyway, check the website, but it's way, way less expensive than uh, like a big gun safe. The gun safe is going to be a far, far more secure option, obviously. It's also going to be a little bit slower depending on your setup. Uh, it's going to be not as quick of access. So there's that. Another thing you could do is just hide it in your vehicle and hope for the best. That's what I've been doing up until this point. And now my truck gun has one of these. That's a pro is it's a way to secure it in your vehicle. Uh, and that's great and all. However, it's not exactly Fort Knox. The way you open this is you push this button here while you push this button and this button. So there's three and that's the combo right there. Now, the, and this right here, basically, it takes this little piece and pulls it down so that it can come out of the ejection hole on your AR. If I fall forward here, so just lock this to the rear. I'll go ahead and push these three buttons, one, two, and three. And then I'll insert it in like so. Drop that mag so I can fall freely and insert the mag as so. So now, this, you cannot get it off. I almost... Actually, I didn't, I, I did break this gun. I bent the upper receiver uh, torture testing this. So here's that one. So very good. I, I was actually pleasantly surprised about the durability of this thing. It really locked in well. The weaknesses in it is the code is very easy to decipher, especially if someone already knew. So what, what we're basically betting on is that somebody hasn't gone through and figured out this code. There is a way to internally change the code. However, still they're going to be able to crack the code in, in a pretty short amount of time. Uh, however, I'm banking on the fact the bad guys, when they see this, they're never have gonna encountered it before. And it just buys me the extra time they say, 
Uh, they pull it a few times, mess with it, can't figure it out right away, and then they leave it. I'm counting on that both for securing this uh, away from kids in my home, so have one of these on it, and also in my vehicle, coupled with this tether so that they're not able to get access. I challenged our videographer to basically crack the code on this and take the gun. And he was familiar with the product, so he had a big leg up, but he didn't know, like, the code or anything. And this is how this went. Yeah, now, it's running. What's I'm, the combination? You figure it out. The whole world is judging you right yeah, now. I know. Right now. Sin. I can't get no fish. Nope. All right, very good. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. We missed it. He got it. He had given up, and then he got it. <laughs> now. He did figure it out, not on camera, but he did actually figure it out shortly after we hit stop. And I'm glad because if not, it would have put him at like an IQ of 48 and he would no longer be with us. So I'm really stoked he did figure it out. There is a guy named Lock Picking Lawyer. I follow some of his stuff. The guy is amazing at just, he can get into everything. And he really critiqued this product specifically in saying, it's the code, you can figure it out in like less than a minute. And if you come with uh, knowledge that you have to depress this as well, you can crack it even quicker. Uh, however, I think he totally missed the whole point of the product. It's not meant to keep somebody out of Fort Knox here. It's just meant to buy you uh, some precious time so that they say, oh, nope, can't get it, uh, uh, crap, and then they move on. Or it keeps my toddler away from uh, my guns as well. It's one more quick step, and I'm not into this a lot. Now, also, though it's uh, securing it a little bit, it's also, as I can just grab this and pull off, uh, now I'm ready to go. That is ugly, gross in there. Man, I need to clean a gun. And look at this thing. It just, whoops, this is called, I broke my gun. Up that lower for sure. Look at that. It's... It's an easy fix, but anyway, I have not done that fix. So, so far we got a, a great strength of, it's a easy way to add a layer of protection and security in the home or in your vehicle. So it secures it cheaply. Now a con for it is, is the combination is not difficult to crack. Some people would immediately push back of like, no, that's actually a plus and that I can just grab it in one sweet motion and get rid of it. Meaning I am gaining a little security, but I'm not sacrificing any grab and go speed. And that's well said, but I'm still counting it as a con. Uh, here is another con. To be able to attach this tether, and by the way, the tether's a great pro, but uh, to be able to attach the tether in here, I have to remove this back plate here, and it's one, two, three, four little Allen security screws. So you need a special little uh, bit which comes here. Can we hold things? There we go. Came with this special little bit. And so I take these four screws off, and when I remove this back plate, if you're not careful, this thing can. Uh, like springs and pieces fall out. And so you gotta kind of make sure that you're being careful with this, take it out, then you put this um, this in right here and then put the back plate out. If these pieces fall out, then you can figure it out. It just may take you a couple minutes or you can watch a video on this of how to put those pieces back in. But I wish those pieces didn't yard sail out. It happened to me once and I wish that it hadn't happened to me. Uh, it's not the end of the world. It's just kind of like, oh, I wish it was easier to get that tether on and off without these pieces in there. Um, the way to secure this is uh, if you're going into your vehicle, what you do is you latch it around some uh, big metal piece that's anchored to a frame, maybe under a seat or something, and you basically girth hitch it in like this, and that happens first. So it's girth hitched around something inside your vehicle. Then you take this back plate off. You put that in. Uh, in there and put the back plate back on so it's nice and secured and then you're able to put this into your uh, gun and you're nice and safe like. All right, there it is down and dirty guys. If you're interested, cool. If you're not, 
that's cool too. I don't really care. Uh, check down below for our links. That stuff's important. Helps you, helps us. Uh, hit like, share the videos. Big Tech's not helping us grow. Subscribe, toggle notifications, about all. Check out our app. We got a streaming service and it's dope. Uh, the kids say, still say dope. No, they don't. Uh, dope as in like pH, fat, like fat, but with the pH. No? No. Stay dope, train, train dope, stay, train hard, train smart. See you guys. Woo! That'll work. That'll work.